While many of the tools and features in Quark Express 8 are available from either the measurement palette or the tools palette, you can access additional functionality from any of the menus at the top of the screen. From the help menu, you can view help contents, search for items, or view the index of help items, and learn more about Quark Express. From the window menu, you can open a new window, split the window if you have multiple projects or documents open, cascade any open windows so that you can easily access any of the files, or tile them horizontally or vertically. You could also choose to arrange them as icons or close all open windows. Additionally, from the window menu, you can determine which items will be displayed. Those with a check mark are currently being viewed, like our Tools palette and Measurements palette. You could also view Page Layout, Style Sheet, Colors, and any additional palettes listed. From the Utilities menu, you can check Spelling, access the Auxiliary Dictionary, or edit the dictionary, and insert specific characters if you have a text box selected. You can view suggested hyphenation or establish hyphenation exceptions. Access the Job Jackets Manager. View Usage. Access the Extensions Manager. Font Mapping. Component Status. PPD Manager. Or convert the project language. Additionally, you can access the Profile Manager and other utility settings, like line checking. From the View menu, you can zoom in or zoom out, view thumbnails, and determine whether to view guides, grids, rulers, invisible items, visual indicators, or previews, as well as the proof output. Again, those items with a check mark will be displayed. If you have included a table within your document, you can use the table window to insert, select, or delete specific items within the table, combine cells, and edit additional settings for your table. From the layout menu, you can create a new layout, duplicate or delete a layout, and assign specifications or properties for your layout. Then you can view the previous next, first or last, or go to a specific layout. From the page menu, you can insert, delete, or move pages, view master guides and grids, edit the sections, or again maneuver between different pages, or change the display. From the item menu, you can perform a variety of different tasks related to items, including modifying, adding a frame runaround or editing clipping, duplicating, creating a step and repeat, or deleting. You can also group, ungroup, lock, merge or split, and change the arrangement for items, sending them backward or forward, and edit space and alignment. From the style menu, you can add style to a selected object, including color, shading, opacity, inverting the item, using halftones, adding item styles, flipping the item, or changing the alignment. In our case, we have a picture selected, so some items are shaded out because they are not available for the item that we have selected. We can also add hyperlinking, anchors, and picture effects. From the Edit menu, you can undo the last task, cut, copy, and paste, delete, or select all. You can also edit links and objects, show the clipboard, find and change, access preferences, style sheets, colors, H and J's, lists, dashes, and hanging characters. To the right of any of the menu items, you can view the keyboard shortcuts. We are using a Windows machine, so we will see Control plus a particular letter or number. If you're using Mac, this will be the command key. From the file menu, you can create a new project, project from a ticket, library, or book, open an item, close, save, import, append, export, either as a PDF, a project, an EPS file, HTML, or Flash. Collect all of the items within your file for output. Access the collaboration setup. View details for job jackets. Print or output a specific job. Or you can open any of the most recently accessed files.